Welcome, Waffle Wolfettes. We are back with the brilliant God of War Ragnarok on the PlayStation 5. And we are playing through this game on No Mercy difficulty. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, we didn't really get too much done in the previous video. We was mostly focusing on a side mission. But we went into the depths of this desert and we released this beautiful giant jellyfish from the hive. We then proceeded to travel around a couple of different locations in this desert now that the sandstorm has ended and gather up a few pieces of um, armor for Kratos that I won't even be wearing but also open up a lot of chests, get a lot of supplies so that we can upgrade our gear and also listen to Mimir and Atreus tell us many different stories. But what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be going back to Sindri's house and we are going to be uh, discussing our next, next course of action now that we know the hidden stuff that Groa hid from um, Odin about, you know, a different outcome to Ragnarok. So we're going to discuss what we're going to be doing next. Obviously, Atreus wants to be the champion and wants to uh, basically start Ragnarok. Tyr doesn't want to be part of it because Tyr's decided to become a pacifist and he's a big part of Ragnarok. And Kratos doesn't want any part of it because he doesn't want his boy ending up dead. <laughs> or himself. So, uh, yeah, there's uh, a lot to discuss, but... Something very unexpected will happen, and it's going to be... The next few videos are going to be beautiful, Wolf and Wolfettes. Beautiful. But yeah, oh, before we head back... Actually, no, we'll head back now. we got to come back here at some point anyway to go and check out that door. Hope once we leave the desert, somebody feeds these uh, these dogs. They're not just left here waiting for me on a sled. <laughs> I'm not even sure how they got here anyway. Who even gave these to me? Why did they just randomly appear? Did they like belong to some random guy who died in the desert? Kind of want to chop this sled off here and let you free. Let's have a go. See if I can. Nope. <laughs> nope. Oh, well, sorry, boys. Sorry. Feel free to uh, abandon the sled and go and live your life, though, boys. Right, we'll do some upgrading. Do I want to do it now? Thanks for grabbing that for us. Okay, we can't upgrade that yet. Oh, and nope. Oh, we need more honed metal. What can I make for you? Dwarven steel to upgrade these new uh, shoulder pads we got in the previous video. Oh, I can upgrade these. But do I want to? That is the question. Well, we might as well. It fits. It fits. It better fit, mate. He upgraded it. Hmm. I shouldn't even really be upgrading this because this is just so basic and shit. This is what he started off with. Suppose we could go with this, maybe. That's what we was all we was already we might as well wear this for now, I guess. A last second evade activates realm shift temporarily slowing down surrounding enemies. And I do do a la a, a last second evade occasionally. And we lose a bit of strength, but I gained a bit of strength from the other piece of armor. So we'll, we'll grab this for now. We'll grab this. Yeah, it's not the best. We will find other things that will replace this stuff eventually. And also, we match a bit more as well, so we look less stupid. Take care of your armor. It'll <coughs> take care of you. I don't need to take care of my armor. You do it for me, Sindri, my main man. All right, let's go. I oh, will we'll do that. We'll do that later. We also got to go to uh, Niflheim again, but I think this is like just random side mission stuff, so we won't worry for that. Musfilheim. That's the. Uh, the fiery place. Well, 
Well, I hope Tears had enough time to find its equilibrium, or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in them, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believe them. The question is, how you'll ever make Tyr believe it? Well, I suppose that mural. Yeah, well, one thing one thing we haven't thought about actually that Grower's uh, Shrine prophecy, Grower's prophecy about Ragnarok and stuff, and all of the stuff you know the giants predicted uh, and all that stuff. Uh, it says the God of War will lead the armies. You know, but that, uh, Kratos is a God of War. Maybe Kratos will lead the armies. You didn't think about that, you know? So they could still be correct. Maybe Tier 1, maybe Kratos will. Who knows? We'll find out eventually, hopefully. Oh, it's that squirrel. Oh, yeah. Now, do I want to waste about 20 minutes? <laughs> nah, I'm going to do this. Sorry if it annoys all of you, but this is, this is funny. Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? <laughs> I'm going to take a lot of practice throws. I'm going to ruin your dice, squirrel. Just for having more subscribers than me. A magnificent throw, Master Kratos. Truly a seasoned pro. Very well. You know how to reach me now. <sighs> what else is there? You know what I'm going to do, Wolf of I'm going to piss off the squirrel. I am already here, Master Kratos. Perhaps there was some confusion. This is for calling me out here, not for when I am here. Do you just like hearing the sound of the chimes? I suppose they do sound very pretty. Master Kratos, this feels very uncharacteristic of you, but if you enjoy the pretty chimes that much, I will allow you to indulge. Oh, thanks. I'll continue then. Yes, you've done it. Well thrown. Ah, the sound of the chimes is not unpainful at this distance, so perhaps you could not? Already here, as it were. So... I see. You're deliberately attempting to push me into some sort of emotional outburst, aren't you? Well, I'm not so easily swayed, my good man. <laughs> I don't give up, mate. Stop with the stupid chime! <laughs> oh, oh dear. I'm sorry. I don't know where that came from. Oh, oh, there we go. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Oh, this little bastard here, the bitter squirrel. I think you... Can you find more of these? I swear he's... Did he say something about finding these other spectral forms? I can't even remember. He does give you a couple of side missions and stuff. I think he gives you a side mission eventually involving... Uh, some of these little demons down here, but specifically that little demon right there. <laughs> and then you've got the baby demons. Lovely. All right, let's go. Sorry about that, Wolf more Vets, but I had to do it. I had to do it. It needed to be done. All right, let me put this fucking thing in the companion slot. Oops. There you go, you bloody at me. Ah, glad to see you back, young one. Come help me, won't you? Oh, sure. Oh, sorry, I tried. Whenever you like, Kratos. The stew will only improve with time. Eat dinner. God, that's a hard objective. Yes. Hey, look, he has made the table bigger. Seems to settle my mind quite like cooking. 
being locked up for so long, we forget how much joy lives in the little things. Yeah, we know you're the good of we know you're the god of cooking now. You ain't no god of war, mate. I never said that. I am. You're kind that way. Right, come on, let's eat. Dress. Eat. <laughs> I do like that he actually did make the table bigger though. Oh, careful. Careful. Thank you. Mm. Enjoy. Enjoy, my friends. We'll see about that. Here you are. <laughs> a meal fit for a champion. Enough. I said we would speak no more of that. Yes, of course. Didn't mean to offend. Uh, I'm not offended. <laughs> I bet you don't. The word didn't cloud your judgment. So, you really don't think it means anything? After the journey Mom sent us on? Everything we saw in Jotunheim? What was it all for? Don't you ever think about that? Every day. But I cannot believe her purpose was to inspire you to take foolish risks. But what if the giants are counting on me? What giants? I am counting on you. To be safe. But to use the judgment of a man and not of a child. But what if Loki going to Ironwood is the only way that... Who <gasps> oh, Atreus? My son? And nothing more. Do you hear me? I'm not hungry anymore. Forgive me, Kratos. Words were chosen carelessly. You really should eat. Some people swear by it on almost a daily basis. I just don't understand. Why is there all this stuff about Loki and, and the champion and Ironwood if none of it's real? He's just so. Ugh! Harry walks over. <laughs> Mind if I give you the best advice you've heard all day? And possibly ever? Sleep. That's when all the troubles of your mind work themselves out. Sure. Fine. Sleep? Sounds great. I mean it. I do too. Get out of here, Ivy. Already gone. I mean, you should eat before you sleep. Do we even know what that is yet? I don't think we know what that is still. I do. I don't know if the game has told us yet. Ironwood. Ironwood is the uh, place that the giant snake told us about. Yoltman Ganga or whatever his name is. But that's all he said. He said Ironwood and then pissed off back to sleep. Okay. Are we inside one of those uh, prophecy things again? Oh, hello. Hey, look at that mask.
butter. I wish I had known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. Oh no, Squeaky of Traus is back. Is that a mask? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much strong. <laughs> Where am I? Oh no, it's smug baby Atreus again. All you ever talk about, over and over. Do something about it or shut up already. Little people's little We're problems. We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems. Memories. And not nice ones. You broke the gate. That was our only way to Yonahan. What do you want? Let's go, Struma. I don't understand. Whatever. 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 Hey! Don't run off! Whatever. Whatever. Can you tell me where I am? Whatever. 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 I gotta get out of here. Yeah, we do. We don't. We don't want to be dealing with young Atreus. <laughs> He's such a smug shit. If you haven't played uh, God of War Four, um, yeah, when when Atreus finds out that he is the um, a god, when Kratos finally tells him, oh, he becomes such a smug little prick, <laughs> and then he proceeds to start killing people. He, he becomes basically mini Kratos, the old Kratos from the Greek times. Ah. Oh, uh, it's aggravating. But thankfully Atreus isn't like that in this game. Bit careless. Okay. He should pay for what he said about mother. Oh. <clears throat> But we're gods. We can do whatever this. we want. Please, please wait. Please. Oh. That was when Atreus stabbed Modi, wasn't it? Or Magni. Why is this happening? This is a much better knife than Mother's. Please stop! So much for sleep, eh, Sindri? Oh man, I love this place. I love this place. This right here is what my heaven is gonna look like. When I die and go to heaven, this is what we're gonna see. This is what I'm gonna see. Maybe you too, who knows? Where am I? Heaven, mate. Heaven! Oh, he's a good boy. Oh, gal. Huh. Hey, where are you going? <coughs> Follow you? Follow the wolf. Yeah, um, obviously Atreus can hear animals. So, um, yeah, we're going to have to rely on Atreus to do all the translating. Obviously, I can understand wolves as well, being part wolf myself, but... You know, I can't expose myself to the world because if they know I'm Dr. Doolittle, everyone's going to be asking me for favours and I ain't got time for that. So don't tell anyone that I can understand wolves. But I'll let Atreus do the translating. But this place, magic, heaven, I love it. One of my favourite... Okay, I guess I'll see you around the other side. One of my favourite parts of the game this is. And we're going to be playing as Atreus again. Um... I don't think there's anything I need to upgrade at the moment. I already did it in the uh, previous video, I think. Ooh, that looks nice. Let's grab that. That looks very nice. Okay. Okay. I look like a little Pikmin. Where am I? 
Can you understand me? Oh. Hi there. So, where are we going? <coughs> Got it. <laughs> oh, man. I was having the weirdest dream and just kind of woke up here. Is this Ironwood? Any idea how I got here? I dreamt my way here? I mean, suppose I must have. I'm here. I'm coming. Sorry. Scent? What scent? Oh, that might be Fenrir you're smelling. Wish you were here to meet you. You can't be smelling a Fenrir still. I've changed your armor set since you uh, hugged Fenrir. I'm coming. Sorry. <laughs> I like how it says woof with a question mark. <laughs> Hello? There's a lot of you, huh? That's so cute. Oh, hello. In the words of Doomlight94, pat, 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 around. pat. What's that smell? The air here, it's... I don't know. Sweeter? Maybe it's these trees. <laughs> you tell me if you were going to eat me. <laughs> That's a joke, right? <laughs> oh my god, look at them all! I've never seen a forest like this before. It's basically like being in North America, to be honest. Like Yellowstone and stuff like that. A lot of wolves there, I think. Through here? Yep, this is fucking heaven, isn't it? Look at oh, oh my god, they're so fluffy. I'm not finished with it yet. <gasps> the paint is made from the bark of the ironwood trees. They absorb the memories of the forest so that the paint remembers too. Memories of the past. Of the future. I'd hate to get blood on it. Oh, it's really you. Uh, you know who I am? What's wrong? I've been. Waiting my whole life for this moment. I think you're in there, mate. Huh. You look weirder than I imagined. <laughs> Maybe not. Oh. Sorry. <clears throat> um, was that mean? Kind of. Damn it. I'm already messing this up. <laughs> it's just you're the first person that I've talked to in a very long time. And weird can be good. Uh, thanks. Let's start over. 
I'm Angle Boda. You must have a lot of questions. Uh, yeah. Where Follow are me. We? I think your answers soon enough. Well, some of them. Angra Boda. I ain't gonna remember that. Right, I'm gonna say you this. You said you knew me? Like I said, you'll get your answer soon enough, will you? R right. Is that not your name? No. It is my name. I'm Loki. <laughs> I like how you're accepting your name. But I swear, because I've, I've said this a few times in this playthrough, I used to read a lot of stuff about the Norse mythology when I was at school, when we were forced to go to the library and read a book and write about it. And I swear I remember Atreus, well, Loki, and Angaboda being a couple. You know? And I swear that that giant snake, Yolmungandr, or whatever his name is, and Fenrir, were two of the children that came from these two. <laughs> and funny how that snake is pretty uh, chill with Atreus, and uh, Fenrir was apparently our pet dog. Uh, so obviously this is Santa Monica's creation, everything could be different. But I wonder if these two are going to be ending up getting it on at some point, and poor Anger Boulder over there is going to have to give birth to a fucking snake. <laughs> and a wolf. God damn. No, a lot of stuff happened in it just like the Greek mythology, a lot of weird stuff happened in the Norse mythology as well. Oh, oh you're gonna start simping for this girl now. Well it makes more sense uh, makes more sense for you to be simping for her than it does for Tyr. <laughs> She's got such great I'll uh take my own path. This ain't new skills have been unlocked. Oh yeah, that's sweet. Very nice. Can't get none of them though. <laughs> Anger Boda's got some so great where skills. Where am I exactly? I was in this weird fog. Oh, and... I've heard that Utengard can be disorienting. So you're safe here in the Ironwood. <clears throat> so, I thought Ironwood wasn't a real place. Clever, right? Boda won't go searching for the forest of the giants if he doesn't think it exists. Forest of the Giants. That's what some people call it. Or called it. Oh. So did you never think to open up this ch chest yourself, Angaboda? I don't know how long this has been here, but I reckon uh, it's been here a long time, man. You didn't think about opening it. It's a bit crazy. If I saw a random chest in the middle of the forest, I'm opening it. What's that? A brooch. It's a big. Compared to? I thought giants weren't all supposed to be giants. Yeah, some of the giants aren't actually giant, even though they are giants. But this is obviously the brooch of a very, very big giant. This is the kind of thing you'll put on your chest <laughs> as a big giant. So, what do you do here? Paint, forage, survive. Preserve what I can. But why wait for me? Because my destiny is to tell you yours. <gasps> Woo! Watch out! Well, oh, you said this place was safe. <laughs> what do you think of that, Anger Boda? What do you think of that? I'll get used to playing as a Trias again. I've already said I've played much better as a Trias than I do as Kratos. <laughs> Which is strange considering how many games I've been Kratos. And I've, this is the first time I've been a Trias. You see all of her moves though, like the paint moves that she's got. I don't think I've ever seen someone fight a dogger that. Thank you. Thanks. Like they both spoke at the same time. what were you doing before you came? Surviving Fumble Winter. Wait, is that a thing around here? Did you know about it? I did. Oh, she knows everything. I'll be up above you, but keep going the way you're going. <laughs> Lovely. Is that chainmail? 
I wonder what Brock and Sinji would think of that. Who? Oh, they're kind of like uncle. Kind of? <laughs> you Midgard giants are strange. They're dwarves, actually. Still strange. <laughs> oh, go away. Oh, fuck, you predicted where I was going to roll. <laughs> Okay, I think we're going. We're gonna go that way. But first things first. Oh, hello. <laughs> Do you like breaking stuff? It's just something my father. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> oh, you're gonna you're gonna start talking negatively about Kratos, are you, boy? You better not be Atreus. Lovely. Looking good. Thanks. Wait, what? It looks like you're going the right way. Oh, yeah, <laughs> totally. Ah, oh, Trias, you've only known her for two seconds and you already fancy her. Mate, that's what it's like, you know. They say love at first sight. But really, it's not really love at first sight, is it? It's lust at first sight. You see a woman, you're like, man, she looks fucking fine. And the first thing you want to do is put your dick in it. You know, <laughs> that's the first fucking thing. Ah. Oh. Uh, get out of here. But then you grow to love them. I keep pressing square to try and use Atreus's arrows, forgetting that I am Atreus. <laughs> oh, come on, I rolled! How are you doing? I'm great. I met another living giant. Maybe one who holds my destiny. What? Uh, sorry. I'm just really excited to talk to you. <laughs> okay. Oh, she liked to hear that. Oh, look at this. We've got a runic summon. Lovely. I won't do it yet. I think we've got to do it in a minute anyway. But just like in the first game when Atreus was able to uh, uh, use the, like summon animals and stuff for fights, because I think we used the wolf one a lot in the first in the original game, first game. But uh, yeah, now you can control them with Atreus. Everything's okay, right? Yeah, I'm just in a magical forest that shouldn't exist. Talking to another giant and she's... Yeah. She's what, Atreus, huh? She's what, boy? <laughs> oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. Wait, where are you? Over here! <laughs> Whoa! Gotcha! Thanks. Guess I'm still getting the hang of things here. <laughs> Where are we going? My mother recorded her visions, or prophecies. Thought you might like to see them. Where are your parents? They're not around. Are they... Hey, I know you have a lot of questions, but not this one. I'm sorry. Well, I don't know. Trius has lost his mum as well, so you could both talk about it. It's good to talk about it. Shouldn't bottle it, shouldn't bottle it up, Anger Boulder. Not a good idea. Definitely not a good idea. Loki! I've got it. Tell me when. Oh, can I start controlling her there? Yes, I can. Now, she throws paint cans at people. It's like she throws paint. And if you hold square... She does this. Right now, I'll use my uh, skill. Ready? You can find other ones in this, but at the moment, it's a stag. 
It charges at people and then it does this like big extra like charge attack at the end. It's pretty good. Now it's so colourful when she attacks, ain't it? It's beautiful. Quite well. Like a champion, even. Thanks. Uh you too. <laughs> I like how she's referencing the uh, champion stuff that we found out. I completely missed that pot. What the flipping hell? <laughs> Hopefully you didn't see that, Angaboda, because uh, I, I need a better name for you. I can't call you Angaboda all the time. It's like a very long name. What would I call you? Boga? <laughs> Anger? I just call you Anger. What's up, Anger? Help me with this? Oh, sure. <laughs> I feel like she's got a uh, knuckle duster on, on her pouch. Okay, now you. Look at her pouch. It's like she's got a knuckle duster on it. Ready to smack some Draugr in the face. See it? Yeah, see it? Look, knuckle duster. Oh. That's Evie's medallion. Race you across? <laughs> what? Go! Uh, okay! That's cheating. You can't just say go. I don't need your, I don't need your pay. <laughs> Trip her over, kick her in the shin. Are you cheated? You cut a corner. Well, you beat me. I mean, I already knew the path. It's kind of like cheating. It was definitely cheating. You cut the corner. Didn't take the proper route. Fucking cheater. Mate. That's a worm. I've seen these before. Well, then you should know how to beat them. I already know how to do that. Guess I'm just lucky. Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible, Angaboda. Just for that, we're not friends anymore. Any chance of you two getting married is in the drain now. That was horrible. <laughs> I guess you're just low key. That's the kind of thing I would say, though. Oh, what a good block. I'm kicking some big ass, man. Her way of ensuring the legacy of our people would live on, despite the Aesir's best efforts. Well, I can't be going to uh, your uh, house right now because I've got to end the video. Right, I better end it here just in case I do end up at her house and it triggers a cutscene. All right. Gonna have to end the video now, Wolf Wolf. It's uh, the next video, right at the start, basically, when we reach her house. It's gonna be uh, gonna be great. So uh, make sure you watch the next video. Make sure you watch all my bloody videos, anyway. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, Wolf Wolf. It's hopefully you enjoyed this video. Absolutely stunning area. This is all those walls were. Mwah. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Like, share, and join the pack today. <laughs>